In this video, we watch a person stereotyping everybody, uh, white people, black people, incomes, everything. It's kind of insufferable. Take a look. Guess which man makes the most money? Yeah, you mm. might be like a singer or a rapper. Can you give me something? <laughs> Some people want it all. Okay, period. Stop. I'm gonna say he's a producer. <laughs> Bro, that was, he had a pretty sweet voice. Come on. Okay. It's not bad. I've heard a lot worse voices do really well in the music industry. It's not all just like a good voice, you know what I mean? True. Dude, did you see that like AI generated Kanye voice now? Yes. It's nuts, bro. You're it's never going to be able to tell person. anymore. Okay, we asked three women to guess men's salaries. Hello. Hi. Will you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Jasmine. I'm 29 and I'm an HR professional. I'm 20 years old. I own my own business. I am a housekeeper. My name is Bianca and I am a money coach. Today, you're going to be guessing men's income. They're men, so they're probably making more than <laughs> Classic. The old classic men. Don't women make more money than men right now, on average? Uh, I, don't, I don't have the statistics in front of me, so I can't comment, but... Well, no, yeah. I think college grads make more, just because they're, like, more educated or something. There and are it, more college graduating women than men, I think. I, I don't have anything to cite that to, but I think I saw that somewhere. Probably, if you look at those exit salaries, then there is a chance that it is actually favored towards women. I don't know, I haven't yeah. seen it, though. I mean, regardless, you just judge based on the individual rather than generalizing everybody oh they're men they must be rich and taking nice. a statistic that's super large across one group that ignores a lot of factors is probably not a good foundation for an argument well it's called sexism yeah, yeah. It's called sex sexism Misogyny? oh my god <laughs> it's america i don't know Dude, this is not pre what I swear to God. Yeah, I was what about the... to say, we did not watch this video. That was kind of un uncanny. We, I... You definitely watched this video. Dude, I'm, I, I'm, I'm too good at this. I can spot, I'm like a, I'm like a hawk. All right, a hawk. Can a hawk see into the future? That's what I do. Why are you nervous? Because I'm going to be judging people. I don't even know. <laughs> That's so weird. Are you That's ready a healthy learn? attitude. I like that. Let's go. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Yes. You have a nice smile. Oh, thank you. A smile. See? Nice smile. <laughs> thank you. Do you like to talk? Smile. Do you talk a lot? It was a good smile, yeah. I listen more than I speak. You listen more than you speak. Okay, you're a therapist. And how do you feel about that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look like an Uber driver. It's just the way he is. He's very active. He's yeah. all, the, all the place. What do you like to do for fun? Uber drivers are active? What? <laughs> Damn. Never. Proof of this, this is really bet guessing on nothing. Never yeah. saw that correlation, but okay. Helicopter flying lessons, hanging out with friends, doing adventures, traveling, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Helicopter? Potentially in wow. sales. I'm gonna guess 180. I think as a therapist, you are making $115,000 a year. I think you, you make 40 make as an Uber driver. If she says so. He looks very well kept. Very well put together, well groomed. I judge you. Absolutely. Okay. Go for it. Do you kill people? <laughs> no. Sometimes I'm what? there when they die. <laughs> Yeah, he totally looks like a trained assassin. So that's yeah. what I thought when I saw this old man. Like, yeah, yeah, trained assassin. Nice. Yeah, that makes no sense. No. Sometimes I'm there when they die. <laughs> Ooh. But I didn't necessarily do it. You Doctor? see people. Why necessarily? Die. I, I think you work in the medical field. Okay. You look like you own like an electric company or you own a lumber yard or something rather than like someone who works <laughs> for someone. Around. Yeah, 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 yeah. A white man who is a business owner. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say 300K. Oh my God. <laughs> Connor, did you know if you're white and you own a business, you earn 300k? Yeah, I mean, this game is betting. You're you're making guesses off of basically nothing. Can anybody start a company? Literally anybody? Uh, technically, yes. Isn't that considered a business? Surely that's mm -hmm. a business. Yeah, I just think it's stupid. I mean, I kind of knew where her energy was coming from when she started with the, the whole man thing. And now the, the white thing. She's one of those, you know, one of those. Ironically, she's the one who can be easily stereotyped, so... That's pretty funny. I'm guessing from the tattoo, you're from Whoa. Hawaii. Close. Oh! I'm Samoan. Oh! That's cool! What do you do for fun? I like to create. Like art, music? Okay, and are you the performer or are you like the producer? 
A little bit of both. I think looking at him like immediately, he works in like a techie kind of job, but more for like himself than someone. 75K. Well, I think because of that tattoo, probably limits his job opportunities. So 60K per year. I feel like he's trying to make his art dreams come true, so making some sacrifices right now, doing a job he may not be totally in love with. 30K. I'll take it. That's actually a pretty good observation, the tattoo on the face. Would an employer actually reject you for having that? Yes. Really? And why? <laughs> so this isn't it just art, body art, or, or whatever? Or is it like unprofessional? Uh, I'm not the employer, I don't know. I, I, don't, I wouldn't, but... I guess it depends on the job. I mean, what job would you reject someone for that? I guess, I don't know, something I mean, like, if you're like, yeah, if they see it as non-professional or unprofessional, then mm -hmm. maybe, but... I, I guess if your accountant know. has a tattoo on their face, you might think <laughs> it's yeah, a bit yeah, weird. See, good style. Can I can I get a spin? Oh, okay, okay. Do you shop at Ross or Nordstrom? I got this from Nordstrom, but from oh. the sales rack. There is people am that I, am I dumb? I've never heard of either of those stores. Is, is that uh, those might just be those might just be state uh, states only, but I've heard of them. Makes money and go to Nordstrom, and then there's people that Maybe doesn't just make broke, money and still go to Nordstrom. So there's a difference there. <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? Every Saturday night we have like a hot locking game night. And beverage of choice at these events? Water. You're freshly out of school. Go and water. Just starting <laughs> now. You make around about 30k now. So I'm the poor person that shops at Nordstrom. <laughs> you like to do nerdy things like playing board games on your Friday night with no alcohol. So my guess is you came out here for a tech job, maybe making something in the $200,000 range. He's in there. That's the full that reminds range. me of my grandpa. Mm. Your kid. Not that you're a grandpa. <laughs> I mean, you probably are. Are you? Yes, I'm a grandpa. Yes, okay, okay. Yeah. Are you retired? You know, I just happen to be. Actually? Yes. Oh, I'm just so good. So what do you like to do for fun? I act. Oh, in what? Yeah, made some movies. Uh, but I do. Wait, movies. are these at-home movies or are they like? No, no, no. Bra, 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 bra. You said movies. <laughs> why, why at-home movie? Is is that what I think it is? At home, like, did she say make movies? Well, he watch? said he makes movies, and she's like, is oh, it at-home yeah, movies? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's the insinuation. Bra, bra. Oh, Come on. Okay. I feel like you might have been a like garbage truck driver. 90k? What did she come to that conclusion based on? That is shocking. A garbage truck driver. Why? They actually make pretty good money, but that's that's interesting. Yeah, I do not like that <laughs> I mean, person. I'm just saying. I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna explicitly call her something, but I'm just saying. There's like some some weird stuff we'll going start. on in her head. I I just feel yeah. Like 90k. Hi. Definitely seems the youngest so far. Uh, clearly doesn't care about shoes. <laughs> You got clay on your shoes? Not clay, just various dirt, you know. Do you play in dirt a lot for work? I could say I play in dirt. I'm usually not the one in the dirt. Do you have a lot of expenses? I mean, I live alone, so I do. You I do, do have. have quite yeah, you make you make good bank. Yeah, you, I would say you make like 80k per per year. Play in the dirt. Surely that's like a forklift driver or something, right? I mean, no. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't necessarily have a construction build, but it seems like he's saying something. But he also just said, I'm not usually the one who's in the dirt, though. But yeah. Said, but you could say that. I have no idea. I think he might and operate maybe he, machinery. Maybe he's an engineer, and he just, like, he's like a civil engineer or something. And he, mm. like, draws the plans up for people who will be, I guess, working in the dirt. Maybe. I have no idea. I would say you make, like, 80k per, per year. But I think mm -hmm. you're like a excavator operator. Okay. You know, oh. talking about like a heavy machine yeah. operator. I know they make crazy money. 250K. And let's go with 40K and Brother, I don't think she understands like how much people earn, honestly. 250k would put you in the what top what percent? Top one percent uh, easily. I'm it fairly depends on your age. Uh I don't know. No, of I, all I don't think this No, of all people. I'm fairly certain in the US. Puts, yeah, in the US. Because top 1% is after, like, I think it's after one 150k, it's, like, already top 1%. I remember hearing a statistic. Like, Income percentile for, you know, Give me the states. facts. Uh, 96. 96. So it wasn't, yeah, so for, not, for... not exactly 1%. I knew it was close. I didn't think it was mm. exactly one. Damn, that's already, like, super high, yeah. Works a job. Yeah, He's not super in love with right now, so it doesn't even matter what he does, because that's not the end of the road. Okay. You Damn. look young. Are you a skateboarder? <laughs> You look like one. 
Like it's giving like Tyler the Creator, Frank Ocean, like Odd Future days kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you might be like a singer or a rapper. Can you give me something? Bro, are you not seeing there's something weird going on here? I'm not gonna point out the correlation. Brother, but I she saw she sees a black person rapper white person rich business guy what is going on here dude she is she she is applying the stereotypes You're that is wrong. so cringe you're a racist and sexist and cringe that's i i don't care about the first two all right, you're cringe. That just, that's the ultimate sin, you know? You can be whatever, don't be cringe. Uh, right? Editor, decide to cut that up however you want. No, 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 no. <laughs> cringe is the ultimate sin. Keep that, all right. Some people want it all. Okay, period, stop. So, I didn't mean it's okay. I didn't no, it's okay. I'm gonna say he's a producer. I think you do a nine to five. That was good though. What, he just, uh, he sees, he was rapping. I mean, he was not rapping, so you just, I don't know. I don't like her. I do not like her. That's my, that's my opinion right now. <laughs> it's your opinion? Mm -hmm. Valid. Great uh, opinion. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna withdraw any opinion. Come on, you gotta put some opinion, bro. That's the point of these videos. Come on. Uh, they Wait. don't seem to get mad at me, though, and I just, I'm, I'm the, I just intentionally fence it so that no one gets mad, and no one's gotten mad at me for fence sitting too much. A few people have. They've been like, you're not saying anything. I'm like, shh, don't tell the rest. And I think you do something creative that has to do with art, maybe. Do you paint? Yeah, he paints. And you make about 35K per year. I'm gonna say you're making like 150K yearly. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, thank you. All right, thanks. Yeah, Have course. you noticed how a lot of these incomes that they're guessing are in mm -hmm. the top 10 percentile? Yeah, because um, they have no concept of money at all. I, I wonder if Cut is going to have an accurate kind of spread. I mean, I'm sure they're going to have a couple outliers, so it won't actually be accurate. Um, or it won't be, you know, it won't look like the 90 percentile. Um, yeah. But I just wonder if it's going to be all shifted uh, to the right. Every single income they get, I mean, the one of the people guessed was like above 100K. The other person, like, I think this girl was pretty realistic. She was like like, I don't know, 40, 30K, I don't know, 70K, something like that. But the, the other ones, uh, kind of outrageous, you know? All right, uh, gentlemen, can you walk out and line up? Yeah, yep. You're the millionaire, huh? He's the millionaire. Raise your hand if you were guessed correctly oh. by Bianca. Hey, one. That's the only oh, person one. <laughs> in range. <laughs> oh, hey, yay, my man. So I did horrible, I did terrible. You did pretty bad. <laughs> Over here, your right have zero dollars. You, Whoa. you make zero. Period. And then we go all the way up. This is here. actually a pretty even spread. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I mean they're definitely more on the the two tails, but it's not. Yeah, mm. this is this isn't a bunch of like ten percenters or ninetieth percentiles. Yeah. Only the two at the end would be considered at the top. Yeah, the those are, are the skew. Pretty... You, need, you need a well. There's also zero. That's yeah. that's pretty far in the left, you know. Um, mm -hmm. and the two million is extremely far in the right. So actually mm -hmm. interesting. A lot of like in between is pretty accurate, and then they have two sides of the coin or mm -hmm. the two two extremes, which makes it interesting. Damn, maybe it is the face tattoo, bro. Jesus, <laughs> couldn't get a job or like what happened there? Damn. I think he's working on his own <laughs> business or something. Okay. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. <laughs> is this by choice? No. Do you want a job? Uh, Do you want to work? I'm taking, I'm taking time off to pursue an acting career. Nice. Okay. That's cool. And how long have you been doing yeah. it? Yeah. On and off for 10 years. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was going to say, so I support anyone who pursues their dreams. Because like, I don't mm -hmm. know what, like I started YouTube. I was making zero bucks for two years, pretty much. And uh, I'm sure Connor did the same, right? Yeah, like I've a, been making stuff. It's like early 2017. I haven't started making money until late 2020, so. And the first two years, it really felt like, okay, I'm just sacrificing my life for like no return, kind of like no monetary return at least. Mm -hmm. It was fulfilling, but yeah. But so I'll always support someone who like, you know, goes goes and does something outside the norm, like pursuing an acting career. 10 mm -hmm. years and uh, 10 years is fine too. I'd say always go for your dreams, but it depends like, do you have any responsibilities? Do you like, are you a full grown man? You got to take care of some people? Then it's not cool. 
yeah. but if you're just single and chilling i mean i guess it's fine just don't be a bum you know <laughs> like, i don't know yeah i mean if this is if, if this is okay with like what you want in life i guess i'm just my question is how, how is he he marked down his income as zero what like uh, i see mommy's I, paying the bills bro that's just if you have a zero that income, or like that or it's 100 percent government support if your income is zero oh that's an american thing right there bro <laughs> there ain't no income zero elsewhere <laughs> it's just... there's no there's no there's no like income safety net in other like in asia i, I, I mean uh, not, obviously that, that's a huge continent i'm just not i'm not dropping countries specifically i i i, I wouldn't know you live with your parents and, yeah. and they pay for everything. How old are you? Oh. I wish, man. 38? He said 38? Nah, bro, you didn't say 38. You better not say 38. And, and they pay for everything. You said 38. How old are you? Mm. 38. 38 bro obviously it's his life and he can do what he wants but it seems a little, a little embarrassing i don't know why he would choose to go on cut and reveal this to all to millions of people i think that's my question i think it's selfish right because you're just you're just using your parents money and you imagine technically not earning a single dollar until age 38 bro i'd be so i'd feel so worthless like i would be a little stressed out i guess he just comes from wealth or 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 maybe he doesn't even come from wealth like he's just mooching or something yeah i i mean I understand, like, I don't know, the KFC dude started his business at, what, like, 65 or something. But I'm sure he was, he had a job before that. And the thing is, even, like, even though we're doing YouTube, we still have other things to fall back on. We both have degrees and, uh, or in the process of it. And, like, we don't put, I mean, technical, I, I mean, we don't really put all our eggs in one basket. And it's, like, you don't mm. need to devote all of your time to it. Every day, you, there's always some time to chill. So, interesting decision. Wish, man. I'm 20 and my mom just kicked my butt and said, out of here, you live your life. What? I'm a mama's boy. Oh, uh, yeah, pay, they pay for everything. So why worry about it, huh? Why? Why? <laughs> right? That's humiliating. Bro, that is, now, now I like this girl even more. She's absolutely epic, <laughs> dude. That's so good. I am, cause I, my plan is to be a billionaire, so I plan I'll on it. Get there before Damn, bro. Uh, okay, you can't plan to be a billionaire. That's like planning think, to be struck by lightning. I think she said millionaire, and the caption said billionaire. I'm fairly oh, certain. Okay. Or, or maybe she said billionaire. I don't know. Okay, how how far off was I? Yeah, I mean, you were right. I do not make that much money. I make a crisp 18k, really just scraping by, making okay. it work. I thought you were a power equipment. Yeah, so uh, machine operator. I do somewhat work in the dirt. I work with. Pets. I'm a pet care pet oh, walker. That makes oh. so much sense. Thank, Thank you Kay. very much. Guest lady, what do you actually make? 45. All right. Mm. Are you in retail? No, I actually work in a medical clinic. Oh, mm -hmm. are you more Whoa. of a support role or do you actually work with patients? I'm more of the front office. Okay. On the side, I do filming and. Uh, so you are behind the scenes. Gotcha. You need to get that part right. All right. Oh, dude, I learned a fun fact recently. About 95% of personnel in um, hospitals are actually the number crunchers and not actually the medical staff, you know, nurses and doctors. So everything's uh, operated I, like a business, man. This is what it is. <sighs> there's actually not enough. Yeah, that's probably, that makes sense because there, there's probably, there needs to be a ton of organizations. There's at least a lot of staff there that doesn't do actual, like, with patients. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, think about, like, especially when you're dealing with diseases, a ton of medicine medication think about all the paperwork all the double checking you need oh, yeah. to do uh making sh especially with like prescription drugs and stuff you need to be make you really need to make sure that what you're giving out is necessary and mm -hmm. some does so many things 95 yeah i think i think most of it comes down to the fact that nobody actually like wants to be a doctor because it's 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 a selfless role like i mean sure you're making a lot but you're devoting your entire life to it it's really like it's not not worth the money at all <laughs> like unless you genuinely find fulfillment in that medical role you should not go for it like um your life is gonna be pretty hell especially if you're like a surgeon you know working around the clock or something and, uh, okay and are you, are you, are you a boss i'm the past brother i didn't i didn't read any it was just in a speech some guy gave i think it was simon sinek that um that speaker dude uh it's saying around 40 but still but still like a huge like a you wouldn't you think like five percent of people right are like staff but it's mm. It's still like almost 50%, which is pretty crazy. Really? Why did dude say 95 then? I don't know. Well, you said 95% of the number crunchers, whatever that means. Anyways. Yeah, that works for the no way! No way! Yeah. You work for amazing like grace. him. Uh-huh. Him. Yeah. I am a pastor of a church. <gasps> really? Yeah. 
Is that when people go around asking for money? Is that do you get do you get money from the church? Yeah, from the church, right? I'm not the guy who goes around and shakes the plate at. So, but you're telling people I to stand go up there, right? Yeah, and, I'm... and put money in my bucket. <laughs> <laughs> With that same like attitude though, that like you're giving, absolutely, I can see you in church just talking to the people. And also, I will say, even in the church, women and. Uh, black and brown folks don't make as much. I mean, mm -hmm. it, we're working on it, mm -hmm. but really there's still an equity issue there. Always, so yeah. So it's still, even even in the church. Do you think Jesus wants you to make more money? No. No? No, I don't. Why? I, Jesus had a thing about money, and like it's dangerous, like wealth oh. and, and money. That money. makes sense, you know why? Because people that make a lot of money, they're all up in the head. Right? Yeah. That guy down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the head. interesting take for sure. I will. I, I kind of yeah. agree, honestly. <laughs> you just got to be yeah, a little. Yeah, not gonna insane. lie, because like there's certain <clears throat> sacrifices you need to make to get mm. certain points. Yeah, it's. I, I I saw. I don't know exactly what it is, but the number of you know sociopaths, psychopaths, where the number of those that are like <laughs> CEOs of big companies is way above like the average. It's like yeah. multiple standard deviations above the, the average population. Yeah, you do have wow. to have some sort of uh, kind of psycho brain, kind of insane. You know, one one way focus. I mean, just look at YouTubers. Like every one of them, every third one is outed for something, you know? It's just, yeah, uh, you I've gotta be something. Yeah, I've got a lot of actually like psychopaths. I'm not necessarily, psychopath doesn't necessarily mean that you're evil. Even so, psychopaths and sociopaths are not necessarily bad people. They just don't have the ability to like, it, this is coming from a, not a psychologist or a scientist. Yeah, this is regards. coming <laughs> from uh, a psychopath because Connor's a YouTuber. Yeah, this so is coming this from is... a psychopath. From I mean, it's, Connor's channel. probably the Most biggest psychopath. I probably am. Dude but. records three hour long Minecraft story times. I, you are the yes, definition of a psychopath. A bro. Day. Don't worry about it. <laughs> bro is like far beyond the spectrum already. Like, geez. even if I was, even if I was, I stand by the um, the guidelines of society. So that was the that was the most psychopath response. I could the the have most given. psychopath Trust response. Me. You would not. Why would you admit that on uh, camera, Connor? This is no. If you were a psychopath, you wouldn't tell people you're a psychopath. No. Just saying. I, 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 I've, I, I'm no, no. People have heard my responses. I'm very like everyone's like, oh, Connor's like EQ or whatever. Maybe I'm just really good at analyzing people's emotions, but I don't actually. Feel Maybe you're so them. much of a psychopath that your EQ has been trained through all these. No way for you guys to <laughs> find know. out. So wildly off was I? Do you want to know how much? I think I guess 150 plus side. It was actually 90 plus my side work. Oh, okay. I think driving a garbage truck would be really cool. Okay. But I didn't. What did you do? I was in the army for 20 years, two months, and 23 days. Thank you. Thank Yo, you nice. Service. Proud to serve. Yeah. They kicked me out, told me I was too old. Oh, no. They can do that? No, but. <laughs> 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 and then I joined the sheriff's office, mm -hmm. and I stayed there for 20 years and eight months. Wow. Wow, you you look really good. Well, thank you. Hello. Hi. Uh, you guessed 30K and I make 200 let, let me guess, 200. software engineer. <laughs> software engineer? For 200K, he looks pretty young. Um, so software engineer, investment banker, or consultant, or some kind of very niche thing. I will say consultant, because uh, software engineer, I think that, I mean, average, they probably make a little lesser, and uh, investment banker will make more, I feel. I don't know. Um, Out of college, software engineers are they make, they, like they make more. Yeah, um, investment bankers have a lot more upward potential. Like if mm. you climb the ranks up, you can make suits like ex like a lot more money. But in the beginning, it's very very close. Yeah, if you wanna software. if you wanna sacrifice your entire life, go ahead, investment banker. I I, yeah. I had a friend, some fifty year old dude, investment banker, making bank like six hundred k a year or something. But his life was, and then he traded it all. Now he's a swimming instructor, and he makes like hundred k, but he doesn't care. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> Probably makes like 30k or 25k. Well, no, <laughs> he's swimming. no, he's a private guy. I mean, he's in a rich okay, area. Okay, well so, then, there's yeah. a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he makes 200k. Do you have an OnlyFans? I don't. <gasps> but you know, Bro. I work at a startup. Do you love uh. that? Does that serve you? Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. So, do you notice a big pay discrepancy between men and women in your industry? 
Yeah, across the general tech industry, yeah. there definitely is. Thank you. You think you think if he disagreed, he'd get he'd just get slapped in the face? Maybe. Imagine. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that he doesn't agree with her, but I will say that there is an incentive to agree with her. So not saying he doesn't, but there is an incentive. Bro, to, if I was there, agree. I'd agree with her. <laughs> I'm just just saying. Look, yeah. I ain't. I, I also wouldn't be there, but. Um... Uh, yeah, I also wouldn't be there. He's happy because he's a millionaire. <laughs> That's why he's happy. So how much do She's you She's actually make? funny, bro. I make Jesus Christ. Here. And what do you do? Can we can you tell me that? Yeah. I own a real estate company. I was just gonna oh, say real estate. Classic, bro. Classic. Gonna love him. classic. We love landlords here. Dude, I, I have a genuine like listen, I, I get the get the fact we need all need to make our money. I probably will become a landlord very soon. Dude, but the, the YouTuber the landlord pipeline is so funny because these people will be like on YouTube and will be like with everyone on Twitter, like torching the landlords, and then they'll become one. I'm not saying that we shouldn't aren't valid arguments of questioning, like, okay, what's the net value to society this person has? Yeah. I'm not going into that. I'm just making observation. It's funny that the second they drop out, they become exactly what they're. Connor, what they're have you heard? Did everyone hates millionaires until you become a millionaire yourself? Then, then it's like, eh. Yeah. And, and then the anymore. actual people are the hundred millionaire. Once mm. you become a millionaire, then oh well, actually, guys. Yeah, that's a that's a Hassan take right there. Um, yeah, my landlord's like raising my rent by like two point five k or something. I'm like, bro, this is gonna be so cringe, bro. I can't even do anything about it. All the competitors are the same. They're gonna do the same thing. I just gotta. I don't know, bro. Cringe, cringe. Just pay more money. You can't mm. do anything about it. Hey, damn it! Yes. And so, does that mean when people sell, like you have a, a agency, and then you get a portion? No, so I, I don't own like a real estate brokerage. Basically, what I do is I buy or build um, new construction homes, and then or apartments, and then Refurbish. I lease them out. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Yes, yes. And you want more? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do want more. Um, I had the goal of making a million dollars a year by the time I was thirty. I hit that at twenty-eight, and I'd like my new goal to be ten million by the time I'm thirty-six. Okay. That's really nice. How'd you get mm -hmm. into that? So um, I have one of the oldest stories in the book where I was raised really poor with a single mom and I just knew that I wanted to be rich. Found out about how different income is taxed Ooh. and I learned that if you're making passive income through real estate, you don't necessarily have to pay a bunch of taxes on it, legally, by the way, completely legally. Um, so I dropped out of college and I started a real estate company. Oh, wow. And um, people are upset about this, but I pay less in taxes than an employee making 80k a year. He's so. a oh man. my god. Oh my god. My guy is intellectual right there. Jesus. Yeah, I'm, get, I mean, I'm getting railed by tax. So, goddamn. Yeah, I mean, capital gains tax is like 15 to 20%. Income tax goes up to forty-seven in the states. Don't hate the player, hate the game. You know, that's what it is. Yeah, I mean the pe I mean the people in Congress are not going to repeal that because they're all all their donations come from people who benefit. They all from benefit that. from that, shit, bro. Like uh, I, that's I why love, I don't get invested. There's no point trying to fight that. I love the concept of, of the the elite acting like they give a shit about the common man, and it's like everybody buys into it. It's like, oh, these these politicians really care about me. They abs, bro. They're all millionaires. Aww. They don't give a flying sh about you like geez dude people are like sheep it's it's ridiculous anyways this guy here totally blew me away and then um you i expected and i'll just say this you know as a white person i thought you would be more on this side of things who knows we'll <laughs> <laughs> give him a year or two. hilarious